Hey there, my name is Joe Barnard, and today we're going to look at the Signal Avionics system, and specifically the closed loop control calibration of the thrust vectoring mount. So this is huge. The thrust vectoring mount is something that has to be precisely calibrated every time. And before this, before what I'm about to show you, I had to do it by hand, by manually checking and rewriting values to the servos until it just kind of looked like it was at a zero position or totally axial, totally in line with the vehicle. So since I now have two IMUs, I have one rigidly mounted to the airframe that's on the flight computer. And I also have an IMU that is not rigidly mounted to the airframe because it's on the thrust vectoring mount telling us where our motor is pointed. I can compare the two IMUs and directly in line, no matter the positioning of the vehicle, directly align the thrust vectoring mount with the flight computer so it's upright and ready to go within I don't know, so far it's been down to like a tenth of a degree. It's, it's incredible, it really blows my mind. So, anyway, let's take a look at that system. So we'll start up the rocket, and the first thing it's gonna ask us to do during the boot up process is calibrate uh, both magnetometers within both IMUs. So the magnetometer is like a digital compass, and we have to give the vehicle a sense of where it is in space, like its orientation compass-wise, magnetic-wise. So when we start that up, it's gonna ask us to do it for First, the vehicle IMU, um, which stays relatively, uh, the orientation of it stays relatively the same between um, flights or boot ups, so that won't take very long. That'll just probably happen uh, once it starts. And then the vehicle IMU is a little bit more difficult, and we have to do this kind of almost rain dancey like maneuver. So let's just go for it. So it boots up. Okay. So that was the vehicle IMU that just calibrated. Now, we want to calibrate the thrust vectoring IMU. So it's still beeping, it's waiting for us to do that. So we have to do our little rain dance maneuver. This may change when the uh, full release of the product comes out, but right now, I just wave it around my head. Come on, buddy. Okay, so now we leave it on a flat surface. Doesn't matter if it's totally flat, but it just is gonna compare Check out the servos here. It's going to compare the values from the thrust vectoring mount to the vehicle IMU. It's reading both. And it should finish in a few seconds. Nice. So it should be perfectly in line with the expertly built rocket here. Um, and let's check it out. Awesome. There we go. So the motor is totally centered with the rocket. Anyway. That's the latest development with um, the Signal Avionics system. I should be able to do a full uh, thrust vectoring test in another few days. Um, I've kind of been pushing it off until I can get every bug worked out of the software. Just want to be really safe about it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to follow along, you can go to www.bps.space. Um, if you want to follow along in a different way, you can visit Twitter at Joe Barnard. And if you want to help the project out, uh, you can go to Patreon. There's a link in the description for that to uh, help support the development funds and a couple other things. Some cool rewards there, too. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon.